Hey, Barry here with HeadwatersLakeFellsmere.com, bringing you another video in our Learning the Lake series. And this one, actually, I'm doing a redo of the contour map that you can get from the FWC website. I messed up. Yes, folks, I'm telling you right now, I screwed the last one up by calling some of these areas here, like this one right, well, let me get my drawing out here, like uh, these right here, humps instead of holes. Got my humps and holes messed up, folks. So it's okay. We had some very cool people that uh, brought this to my attention that, hey, you got it reversed. The blue areas are the deeper water. White areas is the shallow water, even though these were looking like uh, nice humps to me. And I've seen them in both color variations. Um, I stand corrected in that these are going to be deeper holes, which is, hey, either way, it's still good. They are areas that bass are going to be holding on without question. So um, first, I just want to thank everybody that subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate all the input that we get and the manner in which, in this case, you know, some people could have been a little harder on me there. But, you know, as fishermen, we don't tend to do that. We tend to help each other out, which is uh, greatly appreciated. So I wanted to go ahead and redo this video so that we have it a little more accurate because it'll be out here, you know, on YouTube for quite some time. And I don't want to add any confusion unintentionally or have people, you know, watch the video and then, you know, the old one. So moving on with this one, I'm uh, just on the lake map or this contour map. And so you know where we're at, parking lot here, S Canal running down this way, a little off on my straight line there, but it runs all the way down to here. And then we got the east-west that runs across this way. And then there's that kind of 45 cut that comes down this direction, close to that area. Uh, so we can get down into this canal, so we can keep running down to get down into this Egan-like area. So with that being said, all I'm really going to do as far as um, going over this is just touch on a few spots that we're going to be covering in future videos from the lake. So this will be one down here for sure. This area looks really good as far as the deeper holes go. So I don't really want to see what it looks like. You know, I've been around this area, but I haven't really paid that much attention to it uh, but now that we're doing this this video series to kind of help everybody out we're going to be paying a lot more attention to it so what we're going to do is dave and i are going to go ahead and hit this area uh, probably this next coming week we're going to go ahead and show it to you we'll talk about it from the contour map then we're going to go ahead and get out to the lake and show you what the vegetation looks like all around from a boat view from a fishing perspective then we're going to go ahead and record the depth finder as well doing some down scanning and the regular um view that you see on your depth finders so we can uh, talk about those so you can really see what's going on here you'll be able to see what the depths are since this map does not have depth numbers on these different lines and that's what threw me um, initially with uh, looking at these as humps rather than holes because there's no depth lines otherwise it would obviously made more sense but either way this is a real interesting looking area here we're going to check out um, i like the looks of this back here where we've got you know our shallow more flat area up here and then dropping off into some deeper water surrounding it so this looks kind of neat i mean everywhere around this lake is, is cool i mean there's just stuff everywhere right we we see it we know you know there's so many places that i don't know it's kind of like duck hunting you know you get you get a bunch of ducks fly over and you're like which one should i take and your shotguns back and forth you know it can get that way a little hectic um it uh you you start working around this lake and it's like oh wait I, I could cast this looks like an ideal spot no wait over here no wait no you know everywhere you turn it, it just looks good out here on this lake that's why i like it so much uh, because there is so many different areas with different types of structure and now we can see where these uh, deeper holes are laying and we're going to go check them out from uh, Dave and I's standpoint from doing videos for you but I just want to bring everyone's attention to the fact that the uh, FWC went ahead on their website and kicked this out so it is a big help here's another deeper area so they're, they're all over and um, hopefully when you all get out there if you grab this map and start finding some of these, hey, report back to us, comment back, you know, letting us know, hey, you know, I grabbed the map and I hit a certain area and, uh, hey, it worked out. I mean, whatever it may be, the interaction here back and forth is always fun and certainly helpful. So with that being said, um, you know, thanks again for watching this video. Appreciate everybody's comments on all the videos, even when they are uh, 
corrective <laughs> comments straightening me out because it's going to happen, folks, but that's okay. We enjoy doing what we're doing out here as far as uh, getting these videos done for you. So look to uh, this next week. It's kind of been a cooler week. We didn't really get a chance to get out uh, this week um, to get much done. So uh, with that being said, we will see you in the next video. Until then, hey, tight lines, good fishing always. Talk to you. See you all soon.